So some of us have some frightening dreams sometimes, but there's a few ways you can work past these states of consciousness. First way is, and this is just me, you know, whenever you get to a point where you feel like you're having a very vivid, a frightening dream, some people call it nightmares, whatever it is that's trying to scare you or bother you, just visualize yourself breathing in light through the nose. And as you breathe in light, it starts emitting through your pores. And as you allow it to pour from your pores, it starts to move into the room. And as it fills the room, all things of darkness, all things of illusion start to become washed away. All fears, all worries, all stresses begin to wash away. And the illusion of this nightmare is vanishing. And you're becoming more light and the realm around you is becoming more conscious and aware and present and peaceful and you slowly become more conscious of your dreaming state and you fill your consciousness with more love another aspect is making sure to start a dream journal writing down both the good and the bad dreams you have anything that you dream about, you write down into this journal, anything that you can remember. And the more you remember your dreams, the more you have the capacity to start becoming the master of your dreams. And when you become the master of your dreams, you're no longer having nightmares. You're only having subconscious experiences so you can more fully realize the depth and complexity of your true internal workings and who you are as a being. And the more you allow the illusions to wash away and you become more fully ingrained into the present moment in your sleeping state, the more you can focus on health, the more you can focus on healthier living and healthy choices and you can work towards uh, cleansing of the past, anything that's not serving you that was in the past, you can wash that away. And you can even just, you know, have an amazing experience because in the dreaming state we're experiencing something much more expansive than anything we could experience during the waking life. It is infinite in its capa capacities and possibilities for you to experience so many realms of consciousness and perspectives all at the same time. And so by working towards a fuller expression in these states, you become more fully an expression of yourself in the physical reality. You get to live two lives. You're not just living your life while you're waking up, but you're living your life while you're dreaming too. You're having a full experience. Don't sleep half your life away. Live in your dreams. Be who you want to be. And this will start pouring over into your life. You'll start experiencing a more full rays of being yourself. And honestly, dreams are some of the biggest aspects of my life that have brought me to this moment. Uh, I'm sure if I wasn't dreaming at all, I wouldn't be nearly who I am today. You know, I'd probably be like an empty vessel if that was the case. Dreams really fill my soul, and they fill your soul too. So start cultivating these dreams. Start igniting this fire of passion of the imagination and in your internal workings so that you can express something more full, more honest, more compassionate than you ever have before. Use these states of expansion to expand into your personality and into your expression. You are infinite. And when you're in those realms of consciousness, you can actually perceive that. So start expanding your awareness and allowing the illusions to wash away and fill your dreams with more light and more love than ever before. I wish you the best blessed rest of your day. The light can shine through you in every possible way and that you are blessed with beautiful dreams this day and every other. Namaste.